I am an indirect beneficiary of the Tinder transport. Had Hannes Weissel, the teenager who would become my orthopaedic surgeon, not made it onto the last train out of Prague before the Nazis closed the border in June 1939, the chances are I would not have made it here to your Lordship's house. It was due in large part to his expert care between birth and 13 that I had the best possible start, medical start to life. So today I speak with gratitude and with a sense of debt. As someone who, like him, would have been regarded by the Nazis as untermensch or subhuman. For both Hannes Weissel and I would have been destined for extermination. He for being Jewish, I for being disabled as part of the Nazis Acteon T4 program. I think of him and his parents who also miraculously escaped. But I speak, as many other noble lords have done, with a sense of sadness as well. Because I think of those who did not escape, those family members who probably waved Hamas off that summer day, none of whom would survive the Holocaust. Thanks to the remarkable Wiener Library, which was founded by Dr. Alfred Wiener, the grandfather of my noble friend, Lord Finkelstein, I can not only put names to those family members, I know what journeys they themselves made. It is probable that Anna Weissel, Hannes's maternal grandmother, was on the platform that day. Within four years, her journey would take her from her home, which still stands today at La Tobi, to Auschwitz via Theresienstadt. She arrived at her final destination in just over a fortnight's time on the 15th of December. She probably perished in the gas chambers in July 1944. Hannes's aunt, Babette Pollock, was possibly also on the platform to say goodbye to her talented teenage nephew. She and Hannes's uncle, Pavel, and the daughter, Zdenka, shared the same address as his maternal grandmother, Anna. Tragically, they also shared the same ultimate destination. My lords, although of course the family members who gathered at Prague Station that June day would have been gripped by a sense, a deep sense of foreboding, could any one of them have foreseen the full extent of the Nazis' murderous, racist, intent. No. But 80 years on, we have no such excuse. For if the Holocaust teaches us anything, it is surely that we now know how far and how fast humanity is capable of falling and how important it is always to remember and learn from that very painful lesson. My Lords, I hope my noble friend the Minister will agree that there could be no more fitting commemoration of both the Tinder transport and those who did not escape to safety than a renewed commitment by all parties to combat the racism that is anti-Semitism.